might be wrong, and I hope I am wrong for this one, but uh, uh, we might be heading to Copper Bell Mines. That's not a dungeon. That's the, the old on uh, dungeon we unlock. And how does that one compare to the other two we just did? This is a little trick. It's a little more trickier. I think there's one boss in particular. Ah, uh, yeah, this is kind of sad. Her fiance died. <laughs> <laughs> so I, these adventures, they were out in front of uh, uh, Sestasha. So you meet their party leader, which is the, uh, the gladiator that looked up to you. And because of his fiance, uh, I guess, not, not too optimal at her job as the healer, he died. So yeah, it's kind of rough for her. So yeah, no comments for her. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, back, back to, to uh, yeah, back to little potato. I mean, okay, the reason, like, uh, I... I'm not a fan of Gridania's, like, it's just like, it looks a lot like EverQuest. It looks a lot like the starting area in WoW. So it doesn't, me, it doesn't, it, it's not as striking as Limsa or, or Ulda. I think we were chatting about this. I'm not sure if it was you or the uh, Imagine being in Gridania and like, trying to organize this city oh yeah where do you live oh in oak tree number 17 over <laughs> yonder like what the hell like put pavement there put streets it's proper signages i think we were bridges i think it was a tree uh the tree the three of us it was, we were talking about oh yeah we were as you me and uh, uh and yeah. hamster and yeah. And yeah, it's it's just like in terms of like functionality. I mean, you could say that um, the Aetherite for uh, for Ulda is close to the Grand Company and to uh, the Pugilist Guild, so there's a bit of function in there. The uh, the Aetherite for um, for Gridania, for sorry for Limsa is close to a market board and to the shops. It's right next to it, but for uh, to Badaron as well. All Badaron is like, like, like the jaunt. inn is a little yeah yeah. But oh yeah, good point. Like yeah, it's on over the next map, but it's still like it's closer. Like you don't walk as far. And here you got like Papa Sean telling you to to go to to talk with Painted Mesa. So yeah, we're going to Copperhead. There. I went into Shadowbringers and there are still some stuff in A Realm Reborn that, like, parts of a map that I haven't been into. And probably I guess, I guess not too extensively, but I mean, I've got to Yes, because, like, when you reach, like, a certain level or, like, a part of the game, you're like. You just want to sightsee a bit more. Kind of just walk around instead of, like,. This might be a, a definitely not a. It's not a, that your 
tank isn't a uh, isn't an LZ definitely. No. No, no, we're, we're not like, we're not elitists by any, by any stretch, we're kind of bad at this, but we just want to improve. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to just like take your time, like, you really just like enjoy MBTS, actual performance, like, by all means, you still do well with this game. But if you want to go into that and see like how you can do that, you don't really have to. And I think I showed you that link where uh, Yoshi P, why Yoshi P doesn't like uh, Indian mods. Yeah, yeah. Indian mods, yeah. And you can look up the audience and you can it. Like, Japanese uh, players basically harass this live streamer who's a celebrity and also a player of the game. When uh, I decided to uh, bomb low damage output, meaning the actual method of the game is but it also got hard to compare him. And the MC kind of gave like a half hour of advice, people were so mad, so they kind of got a soft damage from the medium to the Interesting, but it, it, I guess it was Koji Fox, I guess the head English guy. I think he's also Yoshiki's primary translator. The main new manager, the head, is Fox Klon. So we got Ko Ko Koji Fox, Fox Klon, and advanced in level he might be around 50 plus to 40 where do you check by the way no i'm just looking at his uh, armor set right now okay so yeah you're you basically load up explosives into the powder chamber chamber and then the blasting device i think the game does this to you know, teach you before heading into the boss uh hold on okay there uh, is this it? No, this isn't it. So, if you want to, um, you could go to the... No, no, not there. This is a boss area. Oh, okay, they're going, they want to go in one. If you want to... Because they're going to go from left to right, so you can go 
wait here by that pillar over there. Or next to these uh, shafts. shafts. But these are the jokes, so we're basically taking care of these now. I'm not sure if uh, if the Marauder has it, like it has a counterpart to it, but I assume pro they probably do. Probably, yeah. Um, mm. Probably like around top five. Like top one was uh Toto Rack. What's Toto Rack? Uh it's it's also an MSQ uh quest. But basically it's like a worse version of this where you have to get like uh you have to pick up items, like a set amount of items in order to advance. But the, the setup of the third dungeon is that it's not linear, so you're bound to the So you have to go back. You have to backtrack. So my first time there, I I all had to You're just standing in front of this gate. One of us started to come back. So I followed, which was kind of embarrassing like the next person to know everything. And so, yeah, we had to backtrack, and it really wasn't great. It wasn't fun. Yeah. Like, this one is a little more straightforward. Because, like, if you need something to advance, it's pretty close. The shoulder at it's not. That's also Because like when people typically talk about MMOs, they talk it talk about it in such a large scope. So I'd rather like see uh, I'd la like go from treat each each area as like content to it itself. Yeah, no. I uh, this is it. This is the one where yeah. I'm I, I I kind of I'm not oh, too it's a good giant at goo thing. I just tried, um, I tried to try 
back to the other game. What a mess of a boss fight. No, man, yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, I, 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 I'm sorry, but bro, I couldn't help you out with that one. We're done, right? No. I think you have one more. One more boss. Yeah, you have one more boss. So put it in the powder chamber and then Load that activate up and then we'll the... go through there. Okay. Yes. Like that one, that's it's an interesting mm -hmm. boss fight. It's just that it gets really confusing, especially when you do it. It's better in that you don't come here as often. Yeah, you probably do this. Last one. So I forgot, I neglected to check out the uh, 
Oh no, they went ahead of you, bro. So you just, you're, I think you're better off. Because you have 15 seconds to get in the, in the fight. Or you're locked out. You're sealed off, you're on the tent one side, bro. Yes. Yes. Running towards him. Awesome. So there's another ad here. Sort of like a dribble, but it's So delayed because your internet is delayed. <laughs> there you go, congrats. You've completed, I guess, all your entry, uh, all the entry, uh, what should we call it? Your entry level dungeons. So you have one of three dungeons to go around with. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want more FF14 content. You have been warned, there are no guarantees.